All right, we're back everyone. And now it's gonna get interesting. We're gonna basically walk behind groups of people and eavesdrop on their conversations. And I believe there are 13 uh, conversations, 13 or 14 conversations altogether. So it should be fun. We'll try to be as inconspicuous as possible. And by inconspicuous, I mean stand right here, really obviously. There I was, standing on the hillside above the excavation in the Valley of the Kings, with the faithful Mahmud describing the dance of the Seven Veils to me in great detail, when a shout rose up from the workers below us. Sensing an important discovery at hand, since I have a sixth sense about these things, I scurried downhill to see that a step had been uncovered in the sand. It turned out to be the entrance to the temple of Amon Ra. I took the trowel from the Bosk of here and cleared the sand away from the rest of the steps myself, revealing the entrance to the temple. The seal of the necropolis was intact on the door seal, indicating that the temple had not been disturbed. I knew that fate had brought me to the discovery I had been seeking for so long. Tireless after my exertion in clearing the staircase, I used a sledgehammer to break through the sealed doorway. Within lay the greatest accomplishment of my considerable career. Hidden within the darkness, untouched for thousands of years in the isolated temple, lay the magnificent dagger of Mon Ra, the greatest discovery of something. Of modern arch- I'm sorry. So. Modern so. archaeology. So. Magnifique! Very impressive, Dr. Carter. So, that's when you heisted it, right? No, I didn't heist it, you annoying little man. I took it out of the temple and showed it to the workers, who immediately fell upon their faces, all 350 of them, to show respect for my accomplishment. That's hard to believe, Dr. Carter. Egyptian workers have proudly worked the arche archaeological digs for many years. I did not think they would exaggerate their respect for you to such an extent. But then you weren't there, were you, Mr. Najir? Well, no, that's true. And when was the last time you were in Egypt, Mr. Najir? You seem to have lost some of your accent. Well, it has been several years. I thought as much. Your discovery really was quite a remarkable achievement, Dr. Carter. Was remarkable, Dr. Carrington? You mean it is a remarkable achievement. There has never been anything like it before. Quite so. Correction noted, Doctor. If you will all be excusing me, I see a man I need to speak to. Certainly, Miss Delacroix, certainly. Alright, second conversation. It's still right here. Boy, that Yvette, she's some dish, ain't she? <laughs> yes, those French women really have something. I don't think my wife would have ever done it in a mummy case. In my worst experience of women from different lands, I tend to agree with you, Mr. Nogia. I barked when a certain French woman suggested we have a, a deep conversation on the back of a dinosaur, but I was pleasantly surprised by the results. Ew! <laughs> yes, Miss Delacroix is certainly the cat's pajamas, as the Americans would say. Yeah, we just come up with some good sayings, don't we? Quite. Good lord, I hadn't realized a woman was present. Oh, please excuse us, Miss Bo. Oh, uh, I wasn't actually listening to you, gentlemen, Dr. Carrington. I just happened to be standing here. Excuse me. With your hand over her ear. That's not yeah. conspicuous <laughs> at all, is it? Nah. Alright, I think the next conversation is off to the left. Yvette Delacroix and Ryan O'Reilly. Ryan, I am having the hardest of times keeping my hands off you. Not here, Yvette. There's too many people. They are not important. You are the most powerful man here, my Ryan. What about that Carrington guy? He's president of this museum. The doctor? He is old and weak. You are the young one. And strong. And what would you be wanting, Miss Bell? <laughs> what access do you have? Oh wait, I'm, 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 am I missing the accent now? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, well, I thought I heard you call my name. You must have been hearing things. I didn't even mention your name. Oh, sorry. Uh, I've got to be going now. Excuse me. And what were you doing when that fancy dagger was being stolen then? Let me see. Hmm. I was sleeping in my hotel room. 
You don't sound too sure about that. I haven't been sleeping too well since I arrived in this country. I'm tired, so I'm not thinking too well. Look at my moustache! It... <laughs> You're not sleeping well. Would you be having a guilty conscience then, lad? I do not understand your meaning, Mr. O'Reilly. Perhaps it is the English. It is such a curious language. Not as clear as Egyptian. Well, you say the dagger is what brought you to this country. If I were in your position, I'd be tempted to steal it. Steal what has already been stolen? The dagger of Amun Ra belongs to the Egyptian people, Mr. O'Reilly. Not to Dr. Carter. Not to this museum. And not uh, to this country. I'd be watching what you're saying, Dr. Smith. You're digging your hole deeper with every word. Amun Ra will seek his own vengeance on this. On those who have removed this dagger from Egypt. Amon Ra does not require my help. You say you were sleeping when it was stolen. Were you alone? That, sir, is none of your business. Ah, and that's what you're, where you're wrong, Dr. Smith. It is my business as long as you're a suspect in the burglary. A suspect? Do you Americans have no shame? I'm here to gain the return of the dagger by legal means. Ask Dr. Carrington. I have talked to Dr. Carrington, and I know he told you no dice. The meta is not settled until the last common drinks from the water of the oasis. What's that? Some kind of Egyptian double took. Excuse me, sir, but I see a turkey leg on the buffet table that, that requires my attention. <laughs> nice. Good save, I bet you didn't move. Uh, here we got Ramses Najir and the Countess. What would they have to say? If you want to know my theory about it, I think it was stolen by an Egyptian. No offense to your people, Mr. Nazir, but I think there's a secret sect of Egyptian sun worshippers who have sent an envoy here to steal the dagger. Countess, I hardly think that's likely. Secret sects like you're describing haven't existed in hundreds of years. Oh really? What makes you such an authority on secret sects, Mr. Nazir? Well, I am only expressing my opinion, madam. I'm certainly not an expert on the subject. Quite sure. I think my theory is as good as anyone's, darling. And I heard it from a reliable source. Oh? Who is that? Never mind. That's just say my source has never been wrong before. Hmm. There is always a first time for everything, Countess. I still think you're find your theory far-fetched. So she ever seem to be listening, Ms. Bell. What do you think of my theory? What? Oh, I, I definitely think it's worth considering, Countess. Yeah, you see, Mr. Nadia, the press takes me seriously. Hmm. Of course, it is kind of far-fetched. Oh, well, I, I never... Excuse me. Oh! Did, did I say something wrong? I'm sorry! Alright, uh, we're gonna have to continue this in another video because we're almost out of time, so see you later folks! Bye bye